More than 45,000 people around the world have now been diagnosed with coronavirus, according to disease trackers at Johns Hopkins, and 1,100 people have died. The vast majority of the cases are in China, as you know, but here in the U.S., where there are 13 confirmed cases, as Liz Nieslaus shows us, top minds are hard at work trying to protect people both from this virus and from others. It's a short walk down this corridor into the lab, but Dr. Dan Baruch knows the long, hard path to creating a vaccine. Baruch heads the Center for Virology and Vaccine Research Lab at Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center, where he's led groundbreaking work on vaccines for HIV and for Zika virus. So here we're doing a lot of work uh, in the initial stages of vaccine construction. The current vaccine target, the new coronavirus. Work here began quickly. Once China released the genetic sequence of the virus, it unleashed research around the world. The speed is unprecedented. And that's partially because of uh, more rapid data sharing. So the generation and testing of vaccines can occur much more quickly nowadays than it, than it could occur uh, 10 or 20 years ago. Those bands look good, too. I was thinking that they would be closer together. Because... It takes many complex pieces to puzzle together a vaccine. This lab is one of many working on one for the novel coronavirus. We don't know exactly which vaccine ultimately is going to prove the fastest, the best, the most durable, or the safest, and ultimately the most effective. So some level of uh, working in parallel is very much beneficial. The hope is that everyone is openly sharing what they're doing so everyone can benefit from each other. Because ultimately, uh, we're all in a race against the virus and not against each other. Coronaviruses are not new to virologists. But the spread of this novel strain is a health crisis because it's so contagious and there are many unknowns about how it spreads. But the far greater health threat in this region, the annual flu. <coughs> I want to emphasize that we take this seriously, this new, um, this outbreak of a new virus, but it's important to keep it in context with what's actually here. So far, there have only been a handful of coronavirus cases in the U.S., the Centers for Disease Control estimates there have been at least 22 million flu illnesses nationwide and at least 12,000 deaths. So the risks so far uh, in the United States and in Boston in particular of this novel virus are extraordinarily low um, compared to the risk of influenza virus. Still, whether you're focused on preventing coronavirus or the flu, he has the same advice. If everything else is erased from your mind, the one thing you should remember is wash your hands. That is, by a large measure, quantitatively the best and most important thing that people can do. Meanwhile, it's expected to be at least a year or more until any coronavirus vaccine is available. So the gene blocks to generate a standard curve. Critically important if the epidemic continues, and even if it ends. Because experts say it's quite possible this novel coronavirus will return. Liz Nislaus, WGBH News. Once researchers do come up with a working vaccine, the process is far from over. It needs a ready manufacturer, but so far, no major pharmaceutical company has come forward.